one of the big things about the the big news for the borough to time skip is the fact that it is going to be renamed so it's not going to be just boruto like it is for the manga nor will it be boruto naruto next generations that is out the window as well so it won't just be either of those things it's being rebranded as boruto 2 blue vortex and i'm not gonna lie it's not like it's a catchy name per se like all for it it's not a catchy name also it makes me question why is it called two blue vortex why isn't it like because you know it's like kawaki has like the the red markings and his goes blue when he's on the, on the karma whatnot why is it two blue vortex so that's definitely something interesting to note and just in general i feel like not per se my <laughs> advice i'm not you know that cocky or uh, well i'm pretty confident I'll, I'll do say so but i'm not cocky or egotistical enough or arrogant enough to believe that yeah they, they found me and they were like yo he did it but you never know i'm just saying but no uh definitely one of the big things i've been saying is this franchise needs a rebrand now granted i would have personally switched out the boruto altogether i would have called it something um whether it be konaha chronicles something a little bit because again the name boruto has a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths in particular naruto fans a lot of naruto fans are not the biggest uh fans of the whole boruto name the boruto character etc etc so i would personally remove the the boruto name but calling it two blue vortex i guess if a vortex is like what a portal right Let, let's quickly look up the etymology of what the hell a vortex is vortex etymology so we can get the true definition of it an eddy of water wind or flame whirlpool whirlwind interesting so it could very well be somewhat you could throw the argument like sheepwooden because isn't sheepwooden like wind chronicles or something like that so whirlpool whirlwind similar to like the rasengan interesting interesting what is the literal meaning of vortex a mass of fluid such as liquid with a whir whirling or circular motion that tends to form a cavity or vacuum in the center of the circle and draw towards this cavity or vacuum bodies subject to its action okay See, this could also mean vortex in terms of, remember, Naruto and Hinata have been sent away, right? They have been sent into one of these portals, which is like, you know, from the karma market, different dimensions. So it could very well be that a big part of Boruto Part 2 isn't necessarily going to be within Konoha. Because like I've been saying, there are certain mirroring factors between Boruto and Naruto. The fact that when Naruto goes to Shippuden, there, it's no longer just, you know, housed within konoha it's no longer just like you know in the small village and maybe you see a glimpse and remember it starts i mean the first arc alone you straight up go to the sand village and whatnot then you go all over the place you go to the uh land of lightning you go a lot of different places and sheep with him so this could very well be that opposed to going to different nations because let's be clear boruto is on the run <laughs> him and sasuke sasuke might also be considered a traitor as well especially if multiple years have passed sasuke might be branded as a traitor so they probably can't just waltz on over to any of the especially any of the nations that rock with you know the within the land of fire within you know rocking with konoha and whatnot so they can't just go on over there so what do you do to you know make this thing go for a long time because i'm imagining that the boruto part two this two blue vortex is going to go on for a significant amount of time it won't just be like a you know a 10 chapter thing it's going to go on for a while probably the same length if not more depending on the success of boruto part one having them go to different places like remember when kaguya sent them to like uh, different dimensions and whatnot it could very well be that a big portion of the series is going to be going through vortexes to go to different lands and that's how this series is going to go for an, a significant amount of time going through different vortexes going to different dimensions so to speak um it also again could very well just be based on the etymology of it saying about a, a whirlpool uh you know whirlwind it could very well be something along the lines of the rasengan is going to be very vital which funny enough didn't we just have a one shot about the rasengan no minato you know who knows bro who knows there's a big that the, the possibility is still out there if we're going with two blue vortex and the etymology of a vortex goes into uh, a whirlpool and wasn't that somewhere along the lines of what the actual title of the naruto one shot let me just so i'm not bugging let me see what the actual title of the naruto minato one shot was within the sp the world within the spiral hmm, interesting interesting 
the whirlpool is significant in the one shot there very well could be still a possibility as subtle as it may be uh of some sort of connection between that minato one shot and this whole situation now remember that there's still those two members of minato's teammates that they weren't really focused in on in the minato one shot to be fair but some people as i actually opened up twitter today i was stumbling about and seeing some people having some threads on speculating whether or not one of minato's teammates is an uchiha because there's the one the the, the dark skin brother and then there's the one that like I, I couldn't tell honestly if it was a female or a male but ultimately some people are speculating that that might be an uchiha sasuke you know being on the run with boruto running into a fellow uchiha that brotherhood might be something that you know yo i got you don't worry say less we're gonna hide you or say less i'm gonna help you out they might return with two uchiha so uh you know what i'm saying uh salada might not be the last mohican so to speak of the uchiha bloodline there might actually be another uchiha out there and it might all connect based on yet again this one shot or who knows maybe that uchiha is somebody that's pulling the strings all along maybe that's something to do with amado's goal because for whatever reason despite amado being one of the masterminds and one of these brilliant pieces of the puzzle boruto has a very good way of making us forget about amado like right now we're talking about you know a, a title of the time skip we're not really diving into one of the main cruxes of this whole situation and that's amado so it could very well be that one of these people got a tie to Amado. Could very well be that Amado pops out with a couple of more cyborgs. Remember, he had a lot of them. Remember that they were all either destroyed or some of them were, you know, hidden away, so to speak. It's not far-fetched to say that Amado hit a couple of them from Jigen to begin with before Jigen found them and started smashing them. Similar to how Ada was found, similar to how Delta was still around. So it could very well be that maybe he got some robot Uchihas up in here. You know what I'm saying? Cybernetic Uchihas. The helix is the key, the DNA. Well, you think about it. Shout out to my brother Max Powers in the chat, by the way. Uh, go read Max Powers comic if you're not. Big stuff coming from Blackfire Entertainment. But the Helix DNA, that's a very big thing because you got to look at it like one of the big characters that we're waiting for upcoming into the time skip is Kashin Koji. How was Kashin Koji created? You got to imagine that it was from specklings of Jiraiya's DNA. So that could also be a very big factor into recreating either some of Minato's teammates that might be vital to this whole mission. Maybe a few cyborgs that actually just managed to get away when Amado, when Jigen was scrapping all of them. And when Jigen was, you know, comp uh, basically making utter destruction, some of them actually potentially managed to get away right big possibility there the rise of tim roosevelt out now on all streaming platforms you can actually listen to this while you're listening to me 13 tracks if you subscribe right now here on twitch uh you get a free copy i'll ship one out to you uh you just send me an email to nimrodmediainc at gmail.com and uh send me proof that it's you and your mailing address and i'll ship it out i actually got to ship one out today from the last stream so yeah definitely the rise of tim roosevelt out now records like day ones records like mistakes a lot of records that people are loving highly recommend uh you take a listen a lot of people are saying it's dope and in general this album is about growth which <laughs> the Boruto time skip let's hope that there's a lot of growth because we're going to talk about next another thing that was revealed besides the title which is again if you're just joining in the new title of the Boruto time skip is called Boruto 2 Blue Vortex and I'm wondering if the anime is going to have the same subtitle as well or if the anime is going to stick with Boruto Naruto Next Generations or have a totally different subtitle it would make the most sense to have the anime and the manga have the same title but yeah healing uh another thing that we hope that boruto can heal from all those uh i guess it would it would be more like emotional wounds from like damn you know boruto really lost everything before the time skip he lost it all what if amado's daughter was a figment of shinjutsu shiba is using amado's love for an imaginary daughter to revive himself that would be crazy you have a daughter and she never actually existed or some shit be wild 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 stuff i I wouldn't put it past you know, that you, you, you're you blowing my mind here, mate. But okay, so we got the vortex aspect that it could very well be again like a, a spiral whirlwind type of situation. It could be the vortex in terms of like going to different dimensions. So I'm very much so on board that there's a high probability 
that the time skip is going to involve hopping in and out of dimensions to different places again similar to the way kaguya was sending naruto sasuke and sakura and kakashi off to different places you know the ice land and all that stuff so that's how we're going to probably have different locations without retreading what shippuden did of okay we're in the land of lightning we're in the land of stone the land you know all that stuff so that might very well be the case which for better or worse because then that means that like okay we can introduce whole new cast members whole new concepts again we might go to a different dimension where or or the vortex might take us to a different dimension where uchiha never died so we might have some sort of universe six universe seven type of deal as well that's a high probability basically taking us to even you know multiverse alternate reality type of stuff opens up the floodgates for immense possibilities the same way dragon ball super did it when you have you know universe six and seven where there's a planet vegeta still around there could be a the land of Uchiha, you know what I'm saying? The land of Uchiha could very well still be a, a, a thing, or could not still, but could actually be a thing in another dimension. But the blue, I'm just curious why two blue vortex. If I'm not mistaken, anytime we've seen those portals open up via Kawaki, Boruto, and them opening up those portals to go to different dimensions, they're purple usually. So what what would be? Let's see what the 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 meaning what, what what we could get out of the etymology of blue. Let's look up the etymology of blue. Uh, Middle English from Old French blue, ultimately of Germanic origin and related to Old English blue and blue. Okay, but what, what what where did the word blue come from? The term blue derives from Proto Germanic and Old French. One of the first written records of the term is from the South English legend legendary a collection of saints lives this one shall be fair blue cloth this other green hmm okay so we're, we're not getting much headway here what is the greek or latin word for blue carulius carulius cerulean okay huh interesting so cerulean could also be another word for blue thinking water there's a big possibility that maybe we could be in an island or maybe every place that we go to is like little small islands surrounded by water, which would be hilarious because when I prophesized or <laughs> prophesized like, yo, oh, no, no, Shadamus Roosevelt. <laughs> but when I theorized, I said like, I think in even the thumbnail, I had like Naruto and Hinata on like some beach and like an island somewhere or something like that. So maybe they're traveling different islands on some a la One Piece stuff as they eventually, you know, the end goal will be getting back home and getting back to um konaha and whatnot but maybe they might be surrounded by islands cerulean city i'm thinking the cerulean city gym and pokemon you know it was all about water and whatnot uh <laughs> maybe they'd be uh attacked by star me or something you know what i'm saying star you i ain't gonna lie i was up when the announcement dropped but i was working on my finet media channel getting up all the clips from the last stream and i was like you know what I'm not living like I was no more. I'm not who I was no more. So I'm not rushing this thing. I'm going to wait. I'm going to get some sleep, get up, and then we're going to do this thing with a sound mind. I'm making better choices than I ever had because back then I'd be with my eyes barely could keep open like, yeah, man, so there's an announcement. I ain't doing that no more. We're going to just come in with a sound, clear, clear-minded, clear-headed, all of that good stuff. <laughs> if not, I wouldn't be breaking down and going through etymologies of Cerulean City and all that right now. It would have been a five-minute quick stream. Yo, there's an announcement. But the Boruto series is now going to to be called Boruto 2 Blue Vortex. So that's a very, very big aspect. 2 Blue Vortex, which it says to me that we're going to be traveling a lot more than we've ever probably been with the series. I think the anime watchers are going to have an okay time adjusting to this because the anime has allowed for, for a certain degree... Or to a certain degree, they've traveled quite a bit. You know, remember the class trip to the, the Blood Mist Village and stuff like that? So, Boruto and the cast in the anime, they're not averse to traveling. They've, they've done it quite a bit. Not to mention the flashback arc when they went back in time and whatnot. Um, which, it's crazy. They've kind of uh, been preparing us for this. Who knows if maybe they use the analytics that one of the biggest things... I mean, for me personally, one of the biggest, most exciting times of the Boruto anime was when they went back to the past. So doing something like this where it wouldn't be necessarily time travel, or even then, it could actually very well be time travel. This vortex could actually be taking them to a different time period as well. But if this vortex takes them to a multi-dimensional place where you can meet up with, you know, the Uchiha, the Uzumaki, not necessarily going down the road to ninja type of storytelling where what if Minato and Kushina were alive? I mean, that'd be kind of dope, but I don't know if we want to revisit that for the hundredth time. It could happen, and it would be crazy to see Boruto dealing with his grandparents. It would be a lot of different unique things you could do, but to me, it seems like it's going to be traveling 
potentially the blue could mean that they're going to be going to islands surrounded by bodies of water blue it could very well be that they're saying blue in terms of that is going to be sad so to speak you know i'm blue i doubt that's going to be the case because you know at the end of the day you still got to put a level of optimism in there so maybe that could have some sort of think when a word has multiple meanings oh my god my 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 rap brain right now is screaming at me what are you doing dog the, the word blue could be and two i'm guessing that if it's they're saying two blue vortex could it mean that there's only going to be two characters that are mainly predominant throughout the series is it going to be like boruto and sasuke on their quest and whatnot throughout the series on their journey and then sarada with um class rep and like it's going to just be like two people at a time that we're going to see and boruto won't be reunited with sarada and them, and them yeah i can't talk and sarada and them for a hot minute or because remember naruto starts off sheep with him by automatically naruto's back in the village and we can't do that with boruto because the moment we get back into the village it's on site now granted the anime might pull a sheep in where it might start off straight away with you know how Sasuke's uh, pulling the sword from his back and ready to take Naruto out and all that stuff. It might very well start with Boruto and Kawaki being reunited, ready to throw hands. So that very well could be the case with the anime. It could even be with the manga, like a, a teaser of what's to come. But definitely very interesting that it's two blue vortex. It could be that there's two vortexes and you go through door A and door B. That's also a possibility. Like Boruto and Sasuke can either go through... Think Matrix, you know, the red pill and the blue pill, except there's only two blue pills, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's even more trickier than ever. It's not like, yo, do I take the red pill or the blue pill? It's like, they're both blue pills, but one of them is different than the other. So there's a possibility there as well. Uh, but yeah, that that's the, the new name of the Boruto series, and it is 100% due. It is 100% needed. I don't know if I would have picked that name per se for marketing purposes. Like, maybe meaning-wise, it might have an extreme huge meaning. Because, again, if we're going through vortexes and the blue, whatever meaning it might have, great stuff. But in terms of, like, you know, Naruto Shippuden, Dragon Ball Z, Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, that sounds like a lot. I'm going to be honest with you. It sounds like a lot. Um, and people already aren't the most fond of the name Boruto in general. It's kind of like, whoa! Vortex could mean Boruto's eyes interesting interesting the the blue eye Ooh, the no the blue could mean boruto's eyes you know those blue eyes will make you lose everything wow the whole title could be a reference to boruto's eyes two blue vortex holy yo we cracked the code blue vortex to me two blue vortex boruto's two blue eyes that he lost everything from regaining everything in your eyes holy Wow! The same way Naruto Shippuden, what was it, Ninja Wind Chronicles, something like that, was a reference to Naruto's chakra nature, which kind of it got abandoned after a certain point of like, yo, he's a wind, you know, he's wind nature or whatnot. Ultimately, it wasn't the biggest thing in the end, which is kind of makes me think like, why did it end up staying at Shippuden? Two blue vortex, his two blue eyes that also potentially he could utilize. Maybe once he gets the Jagan, maybe that's how he could jump through vortexes in general. But wow, it's all about regaining what was lost. Remember, those blue eyes took everything from him. Now those blue eyes is going to regain everything. That's that's nuts. So it's literally Boruto eyes. <laughs> yo shout out to my brother max powers yo shout out to my bro max powers that's crazy dog boruto's eyes is going to be a very big thing which it's it makes the most sense everybody's still very much so hype we want to see what the what, how does boruto get the jagan so we might actually jump in straight away and start getting inklings of the jagan remember the the thing is too that they have to cater towards to a certain degree the anime because the anime is one of the things about the anime is that Boruto already was activating Jagan here and there. Or I, I don't know if it was Jagan or Byakugan. I want to say it was more like the Jagan, but you know, the, the people that they have the details and be like, no, it was actually designed, like blah, blah, blah. But nevertheless, he was already kind of having inklings of activating that eye power. How are they going to tie that in with the anime so that the anime doesn't look completely ridiculous? Like he was doing that all along, but no, it's only because a frog jumped on his head that he was able to activate it. They have to kind of tailor 
tailor it to a certain degree where the anime could slide in all those times that Boruto would accidentally activate it. Even though they abandoned that a long time ago. I don't even know. Maybe in the 50s or something like that. Uh, Boruto activating the Jagan. I haven't seen him activate that eye in forever. But in the first few seasons, Boruto kept on accidentally activating the Jagan. So that's another very core element. And in general, we know that if Kishimoto is, is heavily involved in this, we know Kishimoto loves him some ocular jutsu. We know he loves him some Uchiha. So that could very well also be a big thing that maybe this came from Kishimoto himself, something with the eyes. Very, very big possibility there. Uh, thank you, Luster Poet, for being a first-time chatter. Where is the new Boruto time skip, or when is the new Boruto time skip coming out? Next month, August 20th, if I'm not mistaken, we will have the Boruto time skip. A few days before that, we will have spoilers and leaks and whatnot, as per, but yeah. Also, he got his one eye vortex cut. Maybe it's about regaining his second two blue eyes. Regaining your sight metaphorically as well regaining you know the ability to see life for what it is like this could very well be the most deepest renaming or deepest subtitle to a story or whatnot that's crazy bro two blue vortex i'm expecting some real ill powers from boruto moving forward like if we're having a two to three year time skip sasuke could have taught him a lot with those eyes especially like boom here here's how it could play out during the time skip Boruto kept having more of those accidents that the manga will have to play like it just started the accidents with the Jagan showing up the anime of course will be like oh he's been doing this or whatnot Sasuke will recognize that he's doing this Jagan thing and through the time skip train him on being able to utilize this eye maybe even at, at, like when the manga starts he's able to rip open a portal of time but it's not like what karma does of sending to different dimensions he's able to open up a vortex that takes him somewhere different entirely so it's kind of crazy because a lot of people that have been like, yo, so what is this time skip going to do for Boruto's powers? What is it going to mean for Boruto? Is he just going to come back with the same, you know, skills like what Naruto did? Or this genius that he has been labeled as a prodigy, is he going to come back with some crazy new powers? Coming back with a Jagan, not necessarily mastered, but being able to rip open a, a vortex in time or some shit like that? That would be a very big difference from the kid that he was, you know, restrained with the whole situation with Karama in his stomach and all of these other things. Not to mention that Boruto has Karma. Not to mention that Boruto has this creature alien Momoshiki within him that is capable of doing all sorts of things. You know, the Otsutsuki, they're able to jump through dimensions like it's nothing, like it's water. So having a Jagan, that would be massive. Coming back in the time skip off rip, like Boruto like, is sleeping, opens his eye, and it starts off with boom, he, he got the Jagan. And then we get flashbacks a little piece by piece of Sasuke having to deal with. Maybe even Boruto was having some of those Himawadi-esque episodes where he was losing it. If we're going to mirror Naruto in certain areas, remember Naruto started losing it going two tails. Uh, I think it was what, three tails where he like hurt Jiraiya really bad. It was either two tails or three tails where he hurt Jiraiya really bad. We could have certain instances of Momoshiki slipping in and having the Jagan and hurting Sasuke real bad before Boruto can take over. And we're going to have those flashbacks. So maybe Sasuke might have a new character design incoming to this time skip where he might have only... Well, I was going to say he might have only one eye. He only got one eye. Holy shoot. <laughs> uh, but Sasuke could have more battle damage. I don't know what more you're going to do to him. If you're going to take away another one of his ligaments. Like, what more can you do to Sasuke to really... But maybe he might have a big scar or some shit like that. If he's playing the role of Jiraiya that was very massively injured at the hands of Naruto losing and, you know, going off the rails. Also showing how Minato was quick with learning the Rasengan and it being because of his genius being emphasized. Now we have Boruto on the same level plus Karma plus Sasuke as a teacher. Yes, if Minato is kind of demonstrating with this one shot that ultimately like, yo, this is the prodigy. And essentially that genius sort of, <laughs> I hate to say it like this, but it sort of skipped a generation, it skipped the sun. You know what I mean? Like Minato was a genius prodigy. Naruto was not really a genius. Now, granted, you could throw the argument of nature versus nurture. The fact that Naruto was exiled from humanity, essentially, throughout his upbringing and whatnot. The third Hokage, the evil little lad that he was. Not being like, yo, dog, your pops was great. Like, relax, chill out. Oh, and not. So, that could have really deterred anybody, even if they're genius, from reaching their potential. Not to mention the bigger issue that he had was that his chakra was all, you know, scrambled up with the, the nine tails inside of him. So... Even if he had the opportunity of being genius, Naruto really couldn't reach that potential because of all of the obstacles he had. Minato, he was kind of in a, you know, they, they threw him on the battlefield immediately. Naruto wasn't thrown in the battlefield immediately. Minato was already on the battlefield. He was 
ideally loved you could you could assume people really rocked with him and whatnot and then boruto he's had you know he's had it easy per se so that's an obstacle of like yo transitioning from having it easy and i'm talking i'm not talking about since the series started i'm talking about leading up to boruto he was the hokage son that was a brat in the village boruto part one basically activates that genius and allows him to utilize that genius properly then you have all of this trauma you have his teacher along the way helping him and you have that the anime hinted at him having these accidental jagan and the anime has had little breadcrumbs that hinted at a lot of different things like the time skip and all of that with the uh, what was masa takamasa I, I forget what his name was but that was massively hinting certain aspects of the time skip or whatnot so it's safe to assume that maybe that jagan problem in the manga it started where he's like activating it accidentally and sasuke is noticing it um it would be dope as well considering that boruto and sasuke's relationship is kind of reminiscent of piccolo and gohan it would be very dope if they get into some sort of vortex where they get separated and maybe sasuke just keeps an eye on him from afar because maybe he eventually you know catches up with him and keeps an eye on him from afar similar to how piccolo stranded gohan for a long while remember in like the deserts and whatnot so that he could train and learn some independence so maybe that's an aspect as well because you can't even with everything boruto been through he still has had the family life you know he's only just now like, that he lost naruto he lost hinato whatnot so still kind of got a little bit of things to cut off Sasuke might actually do a similar move of what Piccolo and Gohan did where what Piccolo left Gohan to fend for himself for a little while. Ditch Boruto on top of the mountain and tell him to get down. <laughs> get down, you can do it. And Boruto, I don't want to, I'm scared. <laughs> that very well could be the case. That very well could be the case. Sasuke blowing up the moon confirmed. I'm done with you. Well, Naruto has hinted at stuff related to the moon, the moon eye plan. Sasuke does the moon eye plan on Boruto only. <laughs> two blue vortex, that's pretty much for the most part what I wanted to say about the two blue vortex aspect. It looks like it's mainly going to be about Boruto's eyes, which is it's a very nice touch that that's been a massive core piece of the story from Rip. When Momoshiki promised Boruto that those two blue eyes would take everything from him. Now two blue vortex. Despite the fact that Boruto technically doesn't have an eye. Although they very well could pull some craziness. I mean we've seen eyes be regenerated in Naruto before. You know what I mean? We've seen eyes get ripped out of sockets and put into other people. So there's all sorts of different possibilities as far as that goes as well. But one other piece that I'm going to actually try and put on the screen right here. To this puzzle that was revealed showcasing that this character is probably going to be very very important more important so more more so important than even the uh part one showcased them at the very least after kawaki showed up because let's be real kawaki showing up erased everything that boruto had initially set up of you know team seven they're going up the ranks after that mitsuki and sarada's roles became very minimal you know what i'm saying it wasn't as important then it led into the baryon naruto and everybody completely forgot about team seven at that point like who cares give me more of that naruto and suzuki baby because all of this information came from teasers from the upcoming or the latest issue of b jump magazine that normally publishes boruto and dragon ball super they had the subtitle for the new boruto series that you know the two blue vortex and they had the new design the time skip design the old design for Sarada Uchiha and I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now so this is Sarada's new design this is Sarada's new design for the time skip shorter hair Uchiha earrings let's start off with the short hair in Japanese culture uh short hair means growth to them like that's why when Sakura cut her hair in Naruto part one um anytime you've seen wendy and fairy tale every time a character cuts their hair that's why naruto doesn't have long jiraiya-esque hair jiraiya i guess would be considered like a delinquent so to speak that he never cut his hair because you're supposed to you know grow up man you're supposed to be a, an adult uh so that's why naruto has his hair shorter and um you know boruto and whatnot this is supposed to symbolize growth in japanese culture um so the hairstyle is kind of cool i'm gonna be honest with you she doesn't look that much older like that's one of the things it's kind of like you know what i'm saying it's a time skip i'm i'm hoping for the moon i'm hoping that they show up and they're like 19 to 20 or at the very least 17 to 18 it looks more like they're gonna play it safe in the ballpark of what sheep Wooden did they might be like 15 or 16 in the time skip assuming that that is actually the design because yes the hair is shorter or whatnot but it just it kind of seems unreal like really 
Like the, the design doesn't seem that radically different. And for me personally, when I go from part one Naruto to Shippuden, I felt like it was super, super different. When you go from Naruto, you look at Naruto, he's little, he, you know, everything just felt a little different with this one. And also, I guess you got to take into account the fact that the colored cover pages are never truly representative of what they're going to ultimately look like in the actual comic it really doesn't uh reflect necessarily what she'll look like per se in the actual anime or in the actual manga uh because the the cover pages oftentimes be and this isn't necessarily a cover page it's more like a teaser but they don't really reflect what they'll look like exactly also interesting to note that it damn near looks like she's putting on an akatsuki cloak am i bugging out like, granted, you don't see, like, the, the red cloud, but it looks to me like it could damn near be an Akatsuki cloak. Like, she's about to cosplay as Itachi. What about if she actually, in between the time skip, bugged out and recreated the Akatsuki and dipped out of the leaf on some Itachi shit? Imagine, yo, she slaughtered Sakura and dipped out of the village. <laughs> yo! Yeah, I don't like that leash thing either. Like, this is Ikamoto with that weirdo stuff that he does with sexualizing Sarada. I never like that. I'm always like, why? Just make her look cool. You don't mean to do this nasty shit. We don't care for those readers that are like, oh, we don't want that. Am I bugging out? Does it look kind of like a little bit like uh, uh, an Akatsuki cloak? Or it could very well be homage to Itachi. But, yo, if she created some sort of, or maybe it's like a secret group. Little by little, she's been waking people up, so to speak. That would be crazy. Is she wearing Boruto's jacket? Interesting. I don't... Maybe the time skip jacket. Maybe she made him a new jacket so when he returns to the village. But his jacket in part one was pink. It was pink and black. So that would have to be... If it is, it could be the jacket that he's going to ultimately wear once he returns to the village. But I'm not expecting Boruto and Sasuke. And I might be off on this. But I'm, I'm not expecting them to return to the village until a while. So I don't think so. Considering that he would have to have that jacket... For the new time skip design to make sense but it would be crazy if she's on some secret type of mission that she created and little by little she's awakening people to the truth of what's going on in konoha that boruto is the real son of naruto and this is all bs of what kawaki's doing and maybe she has like some renegade akatsuki group going on which would be crazy it would be her class rep and then whoever she starts little by little it could be like you know i'd imagine maybe chocho would be one of the first ones that she would try to get to awaken from this spell so to speak of you know thinking that life is away and everything that they know of is a way that it's not so it could very well be that it starts off with her and chocho and class rep and then she continues to build out um I think Chocho would be able to convince either a Shikadai or a Nojin as well. So it might be that we have a, a new Akatsuki per se. It, born out of the hidden leaf. Born out of an Uchiha at that. The, uh, like the Illuminati. Yeah. In an in interesting way. She's illuminating the truth of what's really going on in the village. She's essentially on some uh, Awaken the Sleepeth you dig so that could be very fascinating assuming that this design is all the way going to be carried over get rid of that that weird leash thing that's so creepy i'm sorry that's so nasty get rid of the why is she in a a, a tube top dress or whatever like dog she's a ninja <laughs> did we forget she's a ninja you know what i mean like the jacket is dope because that's like a kotsky or whatever but she's supposed to be a ninja even the earrings is fine you know whatever earrings cool and, and i really like the fact that they're the uchiha crest symbol great stuff but what are we doing here, folks, <laughs> with a, a leash? Considering the fact that, yo, just take this in. The Boruto manga started in 2016. This has been seven years. So if you was in fifth grade when you started reading Boruto, you literally are in high school. You done graduated. If you was in sixth grade, you are 100% in college at this particular point. You can easily make those kiddos that was in sixth, fifth and sixth grade when Boruto started big old Boruto fans now by aging them up to the age that they are kind of on. On top of the fact that having them a bit older would have made for a lot of Naruto fans be like, well, damn, okay, they're kind of older now. Maybe this will be cool. So if this is truly the design for the time skip, I feel that that's a massive missed opportunity to connect and reconnect with old Naruto fans and people that they were in fifth or sixth grade when they got into Boruto. They in high school or they graduated high school now. Because it's it's crazy. Even if you was in first grade when you started reading the Boruto manga. Not that I don't know what, what children are in first grade reading Boruto. But if you was in first grade reading Boruto. You literally could be right now in eighth grade. You could literally be entering into high school damn near. 
that is a very big jump that a lot of kids can easily resonate so i don't know i'm imagining like what would be the age of it would be about like a 12 or a 13 that somebody would have gotten into boruto right like that would have been ideally like okay as a new ip is not naruto you could have easily had them okay boom they're out of high school they're in college or something like that make the characters look like that why can't the dude who drew the Sasuke Retsuden and draw Boruto, bro? That's a big question. Where is Kimo the Shingo? But I don't really want to rant on it because I'm more so just excited that the series is returning next month. I'm more so excited that they took a few pieces of the advice at the very least regarding doing the two blue vortex, giving it some type of subtitle. Also, the fact that that kind of might mean eyes. Boruto's eyes is very sick. Um, aging the characters, which obviously if you're going to have a time skip, you're going to have to age the characters. I'm just not a big, big fan of this design. Like, the short hair is cool. I, I'm, I'm not mad at it. The earrings is cool. The jacket, if it's on some giving details or giving some hints that, yo, we might have a new Akatsuki founded by Sarada herself would be crazy. The other stuff of it sexualizing Sarada, stop it come on stop it that that's not what none of us want you know what i'm saying you think kishimoto is the original design for the time skip characters ideally you would want kishimoto to be the one that designed the new time skip characters and again i want to be very clear that this might not be a proper representation of what th she's actually going to look like in the time skip this might actually just be one of those weirdo colored pages that ikamoto does but yeah i think Similar to how when GT went into GT, Kishimoto designed, or Kishimoto, <laughs> Toriyama designed Super Saiyan 4 and all those things. If Kishimoto was at the helm of being, um, not the helm, but if he's still involved in supervising and helping with the scripts and whatnot, come on, yeah, draw Boruto a little older, give your first crack at a Kawaki character design. These are all still, these are like what he used to call... Uh, Naruto and Sakura and them his kids. So these are like your grandkids. You know what I'm saying? Help your grandkids out, Kishi. Damn. Time space ninjutsu. I'd imagine so. Again, with this two blue vortex, there's going to be a lot of aspects if this is connected to Boruto's eyes of moving around using those eyes considering Sasuke can't do it no more. Sasuke don't got Renegade no more. All he got is Sharingan. So it's going to be very much so dependent on Boruto to make moves. You know what I mean? Big, big news that we got is Boruto is uh, the new time skip is going to be called two blue vortex so i'm hoping that the anime is going to reflect that as well let's get rid of because at the end of the day it can't be naruto next generation boruto naruto next generations naruto is no longer going to be involved as sad as that is because we all want our guy uzumaki involved he's not the haircut is what makes me think like well they're not going to give her a haircut for no reason um but i just wish they would have just aged them up to like 17 or 18 or 19 you know a little older where again if you was in sixth or seventh grade when you started reading boruto you are out of high school. You're a little bit of, you know, legally an adult. Why not make the characters represent that so that they can identify, you know, the people that grew up with Boruto identify with those characters. And then at the same time, make Naruto fans be like, yo, they're older now. Hells yeah, I'm jumping in. Maybe Boruto isn't going to be with just one eye. Or maybe he gets another eye and then he loses it again. It all goes back to Momoshiki's prophecy of those two blue eyes will take everything from you. Or also known as Kawaki and Code. Yeah, because the two antagonists of the series at this particular point, like the straight up evil antagonist, of course, is Code code and uh misguided but still messed up is kawaki so that's kind of interesting that boruto has to have his sights on two different villains he's gonna be all cockeyed and stuff two different villains looking at he got kawaki to face but kawaki i guess is going to be end goal right and then at the same time it's gonna be crazy because if boruto and sasuke are off on these vortex missions potentially trying to find naruto by utilizing their eyes which let's be real here if they're looking for naruto they ain't gonna find them until the end of the manga it's gonna be a very long time but if they're utilizing those and they're off on missions or whatnot code and his army is gonna run through konoha and what we see at the end again might be the fact that sasuke and boruto weren't there to help out likewise with naruto against the invasion of the ten tails army and code and they barely scrape by and that's the destruction of Konoha right there. And that's why it looks the way it does in the time skip. Because of Kawaki Burtas sending Naruto away and doing what he did to Boruto. You think Boruto learning Sage Mode or is that strictly Mitsuki? They hinted at Boruto learning Sage Mode in the anime in one of the endings. So I, I always look at that. That was kind of fascinating. And especially if we're going to inevitably, which we will, run into Kashin Koji. Koji, Sage Mode, 
that'll be a very big thing so maybe similar to again i always look at naruto is the blueprint what was one of the big things that happened with naruto shortly after shippuden he had to go train again because he got his ass whipped now granted it wasn't for sage mode it was i think was it training in the waterfall to like use those blades or whatnot which again didn't really last that long or whatnot but maybe it could be that Boruto's first training back from the time skip even though he's gonna probably have Jagan and maybe Jagan took most of his training maybe throughout this time skip Naru uh, Boruto ain't gonna have big Rasengan or crazy techniques because throughout the time skip he was mainly and primarily focused in on yo this Jagan this power is overwhelming so you come back run into Kashi and Koji boom let's learn sage mode so you could calm it down a little bit and maybe get a little bit of control over that jagan maybe we start off and he still doesn't really have much control over it and maybe he's pulling himawadis which himawadi is going to be another big player in this whole thing because if she remembers anything about her real brother it's going to be a problem dog and we're going to have some crazy gohan i always say it i've been saying it for many many years ever since the day naruto became hokage special where himawadi knocked out naruto after raging or whatnot she is female gohan i almost sometimes wish like damn yo if she was the mc it would be a whole different ball game because her raging it's out of here dog granted she caught him off guard but nevertheless she was able to knock out naruto using taijutsu essentially uh what, what was she at that particular point like seven what if sasuke gets sage mode i don't think he <laughs> i don't know if he'd be able to do it I don't know. Not that, like, you know, Naruto is so advanced that he can't, but I don't know. It feels like you'd have to be, like, very calm. Well, Sasuke has calmed down a lot since back in the days. It'd be very good. It'd be a, a good tool. And at the same time, when Naruto does get released, him and Naruto doing a combined Sage Mode technique would be fire. But I don't know. I can't see it for some reason. Also, I think whenever they return, ideally now, definitely Himawadi, if she's going to have Kurama as a pet or be united with Kurama or something that would be fire to have Kurama on her shoulder although I'm a, I wonder if the tail beast would be also confused like what it does that spell that Ada have over everybody only affect humans or will it affect the tail beast as well like will Kurama be like ah oh, yes Kawaki my the son of my my you know Naruto whatnot because if not then Kurama will easily spill the beans like yo who is this imposter where is Naruto Sasuke can't because he's always complaining about his chakra I'm done I'm done <laughs> I'm done oh Lee well does it take up much chakra and he he can't create the amount of clones as naruto i don't know it'd be tough to see if naruto or if sasuke could actually uh go sage mode it'd be very tough sasuke the chakra janitor i'm done uh, yo yeah 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 too much right now what's your time skip wish list interesting my time skip wish list let's go down the road for the time skip wish list okay boom boruto clearly he i, I would love a the jagan i mean we know more or less based off the designs that were already released of what boruto is going to look like in the time skip if he's having frequent episodes of the jagan appearing and he's a little bit more hardened a little more like sasuke maybe a little bit quieter on some like a baby guts from berserk type of deal that'd be dope um let's start off with team seven mitsuki older not quite looking like his older counterpart you know the clone the other clone that orochimaru had but somewhere in, in between what he used to look like and what he looked like there um his sage mode heavily advanced it's gonna suck because he's gonna be like totally you know he's switched up and everything's gonna be like oh kawaki my sunshine to the moon so yeah i mean i'm, I'm just expecting him to look in the ballpark of what he looks like in um or his clone looks like but not quite and maybe some advancement on sage mode sarada i mean there we go this is more or less what she might look like it's crazy because she's gonna be starting off the time skip with my gekio which makes me question like how strong are these characters gonna get homie if sarada starting off with my gekio right now how strong is she going to be by the end of the boruto series dog clearly no doubt in my mind let's not joke around sarada is getting renegon at some given point if she don't get Renegon, I will be definitely shocked. But considering the Boruto IP, similar to the Dragon Ball Super IP, a big piece of it is fan service. Sarada is getting Mangek or not Mangekyo, Renegon 110%. She already got Mangekyo. That's that's a given in my opinion. So that's Team 7. Chocho, I want her to be mad dope. I'm hoping that Chocho, come on, give. She's the one 
female black character of the next generation of Boruto. Can we please make her epic? She already had some really awesome elements of like when she would go in butterfly mode, she would be beasting on him. Give a little bit more love to Chocho so that the fans can resonate a little bit more with her. Stop with all the, oh, she's eating all the time and stuff. Cut that shit out. Make her just really epic as hell. I would love that. Or even if she loves eating, just give her a really dope, sleek character design because she can be really awesome so i definitely would love more chocho especially that yo that's choji's daughter she got the butterfly mode and all that stuff that we've seen in the anime if she can master the butterfly mode she could be massively dope and get more spotlight at that because it looks like we might have a couple of different journeys going on at the same time we might have sasuke and boruto off on all these vortex missions and then we might have a look at konoha every now and then give chocho some epicness Ino Jing, I, I, I'm, I could lie to you and say I, I don't really care what happens with Ino Jing. I don't like that character. I, I think his design looks like a fan made. It looks like fan art or something. I've never liked Ino Jing's character design. Maybe change him up entirely. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen, but I don't really care about Ino Jing. Shikadai, I'm expecting him to just look more and more like Shikamaru. I would be shocked if he doesn't. But he's going to be looking more and more like Shikamaru, in my opinion. Mike Guy is probably going to look older. He's still in the wheelchair. It is what it is. Still hyper as ever. I would like some advancement on Rock Lee. Because last time we saw him, didn't he say he could only open up like five or, five or six of the eight gates? I would like for, during this time skip, considering that Sasuke is now also a wanted person, Rock Lee really went back in the lab and he knows how to go into all eight gates. That's a request that I want. That's a wish list want. Make him be able to activate the eight gates because inevitably we're going to need it against all these ten tails and code and whatnot and considering karma is a very big weapon we need everything we can get metal lee somebody brought up uh, metal lee rock lee metal lee uh hopefully he can ideally overcome the anxiety aspect that would be a very big deal uh because he's an interesting character and i guess also hey because i've seen a lot of people theorizing can we finally find out who's his mom is it ten ten I saw that there was a theory out there that his mom was uh, what you would call it, Ten Ten, or is Ten Ten, but her and Rock Lee divorced, and they don't really want to showcase that. That would be kind of crazy. <laughs> a spinoff of Rock Lee from the SD series to Single Dad, his journey and whatnot. That would be kind of fire, low key. Now that I think of it, all eight gates without repercussions. I don't know about that because that's the problem with eight gates to begin with. In the end, after the entire series, saying, "Yo, you die if you use eight gates. You die if you use eight gates." Boom, all of a sudden he uses eight gates and Naruto is like, nah, homie, you ain't dying. So I ideally, yeah, the repercussions should still, the ramifications at the very least should be maybe slightly more dire than what happened with Guy or on the same ballpark. Oh my God, Boruto ends with Rock Lee now being in a wheelchair. Like, my God, Guy Sensei, I'm just like you now. I'm in a wheelchair. Oh God, here we are. <laughs> Guy Sensei. I finally achieved the next level like you. <laughs> it would be fascinating if for all of the stuff, the same way Sakura got a major upgrade in Boruto and how I didn't really care for her in Naruto or in Shippuden for that matter. If in Boruto, Ten Ten is epic. Now, I'm not saying the jokes like what Naruto explained because he'd be bugging out with some of them things of like, yo, Sage uh, Six Paths, Ten Ten. But it would be real fire if she actually utilizes that fan that she got from Madara and in general does some, like, you know, opens up a can of whoop ash because Ten Ten was massively cited and out of the entire Rookie 9, Konoha 11, all of that stuff, she really didn't do squat throughout all of Naruto. So Ten Ten showing up and doing some epicness and utilizing the fan, Madara's fan, that would be great. Yes, make Ten Ten a little bit awesome. Um, wish list as far as Kakashi. I hope that Ikamoto and them are staying to their word that Kakashi is going to be massively important. Um, because now is the time. If it's not going to happen now, then they lied. <laughs> if Kakashi doesn't do anything epic right now, then they lied. Because they said that he would be very important at some given point. He hasn't been important yet. He hasn't even shown up officially in the manga. Now is the time to make him important. So hopefully Kakashi is vital to whatever's going on in the Leaf. Maybe at some given point, he joins Boruto and Sasuke in their mission. That would be fire. Definitely want to see it. I mean, obviously, Kakashi, maybe age him up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A little, little bit. But ultimately, we want to see more Kakashi in this thing. Come on, dog. Like, I get it. He got his magazines and stuff like that. Put the magazines down. We cool with the paradise situation. We need you right now, homie. 
We need you. Choji, I'm not seeing much change. He's kind of settled into, you know, he got that sweet thing that he got from what, the, the, the Land of Lightning. You know what I'm saying? He, I think he's good. I don't think we're going to see much of Choji, uh, Choji like, development-wise or change-wise or anything like that. He might just look a little bit older, maybe a bit more chubbier, something like that. But I don't see much... Um, change in, in choji i could be wrong who knows maybe we see him and like he went on a super diet and now he's officially skinny although it would kind of kill the whole chubby's rule the saying that he had so i don't know but i don't see choji being that much different maybe i'm off on that one sai i don't see much difference either Eno, not really even though she should be more prevalent considering aren't you sakura's rival you know what i'm saying Tyler, i want to replicate itachi so hard I, i'm not mad at it I ain't mad at it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Itachi is incredible. Amazing. One of the best characters in the whole freaking series. Closest thing is that one kid cosplaying Kakashi. Oh, God. Yeah. I forget. He's in the in the anime filler. Make him epic in the time skip as well. Because then there's what the in the anime. Because, you know, the anime eventually is going to follow suit with the time skip. Uh, we got what is it? Iwabe and what's home? Denki? Iwabe probably changes design because I know 100% there's no way you could tell me otherwise that he was not meant to be a red herring homie was meant to be a red herring for you know kawaki to make people think that he's going to be inevitably kawaki change his design already that's out the window we don't need the red herring no more denki whatever i mean i'm not really concerned about them because they're anime only characters but yeah unless they work them into the manga somehow that'd be interesting i'm wondering how they're going to handle the time skip as well again is it going to be 100 primarily boruto and sasuke on these crazy quests while the leaf is not really shown or is it going to be from time to time? Like, how is this thing going to work? Are they going to try to pull like a One Piece? You know how One Piece, it goes into these singular arcs. And then inevitably, by the end of it, connects everything back into the story. And then we'll have an arc that really is hardcore to the story. Then go back to a singular arc that doesn't really pertain to the grand scope of things. But in uh, inevitably connects again. Will it be doing that? This vortex thing definitely got my mind like, what is going to happen here? A lot to take in. Leave that motherfucker Denki and Hoki. Motherfucker's hot ass. <laughs> oh yeah, that's his name. Uh, Hoki, right? The Kakashi wannabe? Koji could be trained with Boruto since now the table has turned. So Koji will help Boruto since he's now switching places with Kawaki. Yeah, that could very well be a big aspect as well. In general, I think that that's going to be a massive aspect of Koji training uh, Boruto in order to be able to calm the Jagon. I'm calling it. I know I said that before, but I'm going to say it again. I'm calling it that that's going to be a massive and pivotal factor of the Boruto time skip. Let me know what you guys think about this bad boy. Are you yay or nay for Sarada's character design? And how do you feel about the new title, Two Blue Vortex? Do you agree that it seemingly is about Boruto's eyes? And your overall thoughts and expectations for the time skip moving forward? Yeah, Rise of Tim Roosevelt. Uh, I have been him tim roosevelt and uh yeah i'm out of here thank you for watching people till the next one this is for my day one my day one this is for my day one my day one I would like to thank each and every person that has taken time to listen and provide feedback for my new album that is out right now, The Rise of Tim Roosevelt. You can listen to it on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, pretty much anywhere you get your music, you can listen to it. Link in the description below so you can go check it out for yourself. Thank you so much and let's keep on rocking out, you know?